Hello, welcome to my channel. We were going to the shops and on the side of the road, we saw fresh mealies as being sold. So we decided to buy some and we are going to make a lovely mealy cake for tea. Yeah, I have three fresh mealies. This is how a fresh mealies looks. When you poke your finger into the mealies, the milk comes out. So yeah, I'm gonna clean the mealies. This is my three millies that I cleaned and it's ready to cut. I will cut the millies off the cob. You can always grate it if you want. We will cut the rest off and then I'm really ready to grind. I've cut my oven on, on 175. And now I'm ready with my ingredients. I ground my millies, which is three cups. It's not too rough and it's not too fine. I have 250 grams of salted butter, three eggs. I'll be using a teaspoon of vanilla essence, one and a half cup of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda and two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of sugar. We're gonna start off with by creaming the eggs and the butter together. To my cream, egg and butter, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Mix this together. Thereafter, I'm going to add in my dry ingredients to the butter and egg cream. Mix my dry ingredients. Gradually, I'm gonna put in my sugar. Here's my batter. To this, we will add in our millies.
when we ground our millies, it releases some milk. But if you find your batter is a little dry, you can add in a little bit of milk. But my batter is looking fine and it's ready to go into the baking tray. Yeah, I have my grease baking tray, which is 24 centimeter. I also use spray and cook. I'm gonna pour this mixture into my baking tin. Using my wooden spoon, I'm gonna smoothen my surface. I will give this a quick tap and then pop this into the oven for 20 to 30 minutes, but we'll watch. It has been 40 minutes for our cake in the oven. We continue to watch it as the time was going. And now it's done. If you are using a different type of baking tins, so your time will be different. I will give this 10 minutes to cool down and then we are ready to serve. Here you go, my milli cake. It's ready to serve and it's nice and moist and it risen beautifully. To this you can add some butter on the top or some jam and there's a nice cup of tea. Don't forget to also watch our savory mini cake that we made sometimes back. Pranesh will link it to y'all. That also came out very beautiful. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all try this traditional cake out. If you do, please send Pranesh the pictures. This is a beautiful afternoon tea time snack.